Right. So we had looked at before we stopped. Uh, we were talking about that there is a sample covariance matrix model, and the model-based covariance matrix is an output. And then the sample-based covariance matrix is compared with the model-based covariance matrix, and the fit of the model is assessed. And this chi-square is basically a golden index, a gold standard index that is used when or uh, that would be reported whenever we are going to talk about the fit of our uh, models with the data. The results will give us an overall index of model fit, parameter estimates, standard errors, and uh, all of the uh, statistics, the parameters that we would be uh, looking for, right? Now let us look at the nomenclature. So a lot of this we have already been talking about in our discussions. So latent variable is the abstract theoretical construct. Okay, then we uh, have the observed variable, which is the basically the operationalized latent construct. So all these uh, measures that we uh, look at, that we uh, uh, on which all the items on which we are going to collect the data from the sample, they are examples of uh, observed variable. Then there are exogenous variables. Exogenous variables are the independent variables, okay, in our model, and the endogenous variables that are the uh, dependent variables. In the Then there are measurement errors. So again, we know this now. Okay, measurement errors are the errors associated with the items. Okay, uh, and they they are representing or they are uh, wherever we will model reflective indicators. So we will always have a measurement error associated with the item. Structural errors. So just by uh, uh, the example that we looked at, F, F and F1 causes F2. So the uh, unexplained uh, variance of F2, or it, you, can, you can understand it analogous to the error of regression or the regression residual, right? So they are in, in SEM terminology, they are called as structural errors or disturbance Covariances is basically co measure of how much the two variables uh, uh, co vary or are associated with each other. So, what are the parameters that we uh, that we need to find out, or the software will compute? Okay, so if we go back to this model, okay, this very simple model that the uh, that we were looking at. Uh, what are the parameters to be computed here? The parameters to be computed are factor loadings, right? So we have these lambda 1, 2, 3, and lambda 4, 5, 6. So we have the factor loadings. Then we have the measurement errors associated with each item. So E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. Then what we have is the structural weights or the structural paths. So this is the beta that we have written here. Then we have the structural errors. So this structural error associated with F2. Okay. Then we also need to compute any covariances that are associated, right? So covariances. And then what we also, the last thing that is also required is the independent factor variance. So the independent factor has to be computed because you see this independent factor is actually the most critical factor in this model because F1 is causing I1, I2, I3, F1 is causing F2, and F2 in turn is causing I4, I5. I think. So we also need to estimate the independent factor. So we call it as the independent 
लेटेंट फैक्टर वेरियंस ओके सो लेट मी राइट दिस डाउन एफ एल हेयर स्टैंड फॉर फैक्टर लोडिंग्स एमई इज स्टैंड फॉर मेजरमेंट एरर एस डब्ल्यू स्टैंड फॉर स्ट्रक्चरल वेट्स then we have sc which stands for structural error then we have cv which stands for covariances and we have il fb which stands for independent latent factor variance okay so we need to compute all of these when we are estimating our model so these are the parameters to be computed in a structural right the structural weight is the beta no sir yes yes so the structural weight is the beta yes or we can yeah structural weight or structural path coefficient or the regression coefficient right okay and the parameters could be fixed free or constraint so let us look at a diagram okay let us look at so everybody everybody please pick up a uh paper or a pen yeah paper and a pen and write down how many factor loadings are there to be estimated here how many measurement errors how many structural path coefficient how many covariances how many independent latent factor variance and so what is the overall number of parameters that the model has to compute okay everybody do it i'm giving you maybe 3 uh, 4 minutes maybe yeah so take take 4 minutes and your time starts now and write it down everything in your notebook in your uh, yeah